Do you have a new toy? Is that a new toy? Did I get you a fat unicorn? Did I get you a fat unicorn as a toy? Yes, I did. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and we are on our third and final installment of Lipstick Picks My Makeup. We, uh, we being me and Angie from 4F Beauty, are doing three installments using each time a different lipstick from the ColourPop Sophia Nygar collection. Um, if you haven't seen the collection, it comes in this set, and all of the lipsticks have bats on them. So I have, I'm doing these three and then Angie owns these three. So um, today we are doing the shade Fred, which is this one right here. I did Brucey and I did Screamer yesterday. So uh, at, at the point that you will see this. So this is the lipstick Fred. I love the lipstick container with the bats on it. That's honestly the only reason I bought this set. And this is the shade Fred. So it is, I believe, named after Franken Red, Fred, for all of the shades that she put together, um, Sophia Nygar on her channel. So she mixed all of her lipsticks together and it created like a Franken Red type of shade. So um, Angie is going to be doing a video as well. So please go check out her channel. As always, it will be linked in my description box down below. So you can go check out her channel, subscribe, let her know that I sent you and show her some love. She has an amazing teaching channel and she works at everyone's pace. So definitely go check her out and subscribe to her and let her know I sent you. So I'm going to be using concealer today as my base because my eyes are stained from the previous look. And as you can tell, I always have that issue whenever I use a cruelty-free or a vegan red eyeshadow or like a burgundy or pinks or anything like that. And yesterday's video was using the Juvia's Place burgundy, um, the berries palette. So... I will try to remember to link the other videos so that you guys can go back and watch those and see the looks that I created based on the other lipsticks. But today I want to do an all red, well, mostly red look. I might incorporate some other shades, but I want to do a mostly red look. And I'm excited about it. I'm going to be using my... Be Perfect Carnival Palette. This is the XL. This is the second one that they came out with. And this is what she looks like. And there are some red tones down here. And I'm going to use those. And then I'm probably going to use some of my Divina Multichromes. And possibly the black shade in this palette. Because I like the way that black and red go together. So we might do that. So I'm going to start with the shade, um, I'm going to start with this red right here. We're just going to go right in. So this is called Inferno and I'm just going to put that in the outer V. As you guys know, I don't blend as much as some people. So I just like to pack it on and get that pigment going. Oh my goodness, I just hit pan on this eyeshadow. That's crazy. I didn't think I'd use this shade that much. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I have a ways to go in terms of the rest of the shadow, but the center of it, I just hit pan. And that rarely happens with any eyeshadows with me because I have so many palettes <laughs> that I normally don't you know, hit pan on shadows, but I have used this palette quite a bit on and off camera. I love this palette. And actually the sister palette to this, the original one, was my favorite palette of 2018. But I will show you my pan for all my panning friends. See that right there? That 
that's definite pan. Definite pan right there. So I'm just bringing this over a little bit. I cannot wait to see. At the point that I'm filming this, I don't know which lipstick Angie did in her second installment. And I don't know which one she's doing in the third installment. I only know at the point that I'm filming this that she did Miss Norris in her first one. And I absolutely, positively loved her look for that. So definitely go check that out if you missed it. I feel like my second and third look are going to be similar. Just because yesterday's was burgundy, wine colors, and then this one is red. So they're kind of in the same family. But hopefully they'll be different enough. And I like to go pretty high up with my eyeshadow. If you don't, then just take it lower. And just like if you like to blend more, then blend more. But I personally like editorial looks on myself a lot. So I don't do as much blending. But yeah, definitely check out Angie. She has a soothing voice. She's a teaching channel. I have done a bunch of one-on-one -on -one collabs with her, and I've also done a bunch of group collaborations with her, and I love collabing with her. She's amazing. I'm just going to clean that up. <laughs> clean that up or make an even bigger mess. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you. But I don't know what it is. I never had a sensitivity to any kind of eyeshadow before. And all of a sudden, I'm having a lot of sensitivity to, like, reds and pinks and stuff. And I know that there's something in there that can cause that, but it never bothered me before. But I think it also has a lot to do with the fact that I used to use, you know, a lot of, like, MAC cosmetics and stuff like that. Colors that were not eye safe. And now almost every <clears throat> eyeshadow that I use is cruelty, not eye safe, not cruelty free. So um, I used to use eyeshadows that were not cruelty free. And now I'm using mostly cruelty free eyeshadows. And unfortunately, when an eyeshadow is cruelty free or vegan, they leave out certain ingredients and have to replace them with others. And I don't know what it is, but there's something in those that bothers my eyes sometimes especially if i do multiple looks back to back it usually doesn't bother me on the first look it's usually one like one or two looks in so okay i am tempted oh that's funny the shadow is actually called temptation i'm tempted to go into temptation it's more of a um a brownish red but I'm also tempted to go into Valentine um, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna go into temptation I know that it's a little bit darker than a normal red but I th this is supposed to be a look that is going to complement the lipstick it doesn't have to match exactly and I think that these two colors will be really pretty together. And I may use some black eyeshadow to deepen it up. I love doing that. Because you can actually use a black eyeshadow to deepen up a look without... Almost without it looking like you used black eyeshadow. I mean, sometimes it will look like that. But... Either way, I enjoy deepening up with a black eyeshadow. All right, I'm going to take my, I don't even know what this is. It's just cute. Oh, it's a Medusa's makeup brush. And I'm going to go into Lights Out, which is the black shade in that palette. And I'm just going to lightly sweep it on the outer portion just to deepen it up. 
like that. And see what I mean? It almost just made it kind of like a darker red. And it just deepened it up the perfect amount. I love this palette so much, you guys. I feel like I am in the minority when it comes to larger palettes. I think a lot of people like smaller palettes. Not me. I like bigger palettes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've just always been that way. Especially with the amount of money that brands charge. I would much rather get more eyeshadows for my money than pay only like five or six dollars less and get like half the eyeshadows. And I like having options. And for instance, this palette, I could take this on a trip, not bring anything else with me, and be perfectly happy. Okay, so now I'm going to take my flat shader brush and I'm going into my, these are my Divina Exploders and Galaxy Dust Shadows. You guys have seen this before. I'm going to go into the pink. And I used this in my last look on the brow bone and I just really think it's pretty with these kinds of tones. I don't know what shade this is. I should probably look at it. It is the shade Marshmallow Pillows. I love, uh, I know I've talked about this before, but I just love Davina. I love their multi-chromes, their duochromes. I love the matte eyeshadows that I have from them in the Moonwell bundle. And I just love the way that looks. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab the first brush and just make sure that I didn't lose that red. Let me go off camera, clean this up, do my base, and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes and the lips. Okay, so I used a little bit of the Monster Ardency in black eyeliner in the shade. I don't even know. Um, Smooth Ride, and it's just a black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna take a little smudge brush and I'm gonna go back into my palette. Oh, and I also took some Urban Decay Disco Daydream uh, liquid eyeliner and put the glitter liquid eyeliner just right there in the crease. So I'm just gonna go back into Lights Out, which is the black shade. And I'm actually just going to do some black under my lower lash line. And I just want it to be different instead of doing the red this time. Okay, I like that. And then I'm just going to use this brush to sweep away any fallout. And then I'm going to go into my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. And we're going to use Pink Heart as my highlighter. I don't know why I keep putting the sleeve back on this, but I do. And I don't know why. Oh, I need to spray my face. I, I usually spray my face before highlighter. Not always, but sometimes. It definitely makes it more intense. I have so much makeup in front of me, it's not even funny. I need to clean some of this stuff up. Okay, so I'm going into Pink Heart right here. I think that'll be a pretty highlight color with this look. And I'm going to use it as my inner corner highlight as well. And then I'm also going to take my blush brush again. All the products, as always, that I have on my face that I didn't put on with you guys will be linked in my description box. Just clean that up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Pink Heart and just put it right in the inner corner. 
just add a little tiny bit of brightness. Okay, and now for the lipstick. I have not used this one yet. This is my actually my first time using any of, well, no, that's not true. I used Bikini Bottom in a different lip, lip uh, or in a different look. But that's not one of my three from this series. I can't wait to see what Angie does with her three. Well, her remaining two. This is a stunning red. Like, stunning. This might be one of my favorite red lipsticks I have ever tried. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Okay, so this is the finished look for the lipstick called Fred. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know if you would have done something different. I love you guys so, so much. Please forget, don't forget to go check out Angie's channel. Subscribe, let her know I sent you. Show her some love and see what look she created today. I love you, Angie. Thank you for doing this series with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.